Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide. And yet again, we are checking out the Remarkable platform. And this time we have the Update 3.8. And it actually has, uh, yeah, one thing that's quite interesting and something that has been requested, highly, highly requested by the Remarkable users in the scope of, you know, other platforms. It's not that terribly exciting, but in the microcosm, you know, the closed micro universe of the Remarkable 2 and its users, this is something that definitely brings uh, yeah, some excitement. So let's check it out. All right, and we are covering the update 3.8 uh, now. It's still in beta at the time of me recording this, but I will be publishing the video once the um, yeah once the update it becomes official. So maybe some things are a tiny little bit different than what you actually see here, but the core functionality should remain the same. And there are three new things that have been uh, added: two new ones and one improvement. Um, and since I am in the keyboard mode already, let's cover the one that's related to the text uh, capabilities. And that is the ability that now in the when you're in the text mode, and when you go into the formatting options, we have a fifth option, which is a checkbox. And a checkbox is really cool, because this is my checkbox. It's interactive. And what does that mean? When I tap it, it's crossed out and it presses in and it changes. So this is really, really cool. Um, and I think that even if you're in, uh, yeah, if you're in this mode, it is able to recognize that you are attempting to do this and it's gonna delete the stroke and um, yeah, perform the action. But it's a little bit less responsive than with a touch, but you can do it with marker as well. Um, so that's really cool. And if you go into, so let me just uh, go control one. So if I press control for three seconds, I will get my uh, shortcuts menu here. And um, right now they're still showing only title, subheading, body text, bullet points as shortcuts, but you do have control five has been added so that you can use it to go. So title, that's control one, control two is subhead, let's do a dash here, uh, heading, then we have normal text, then we have control four is my bullet point, and control five will give you a check box that works and is crossable. Pretty cool. The only thing that's not cool about this is that it would have been useful to actually have this functionality in documents as well, but we still don't have the text thing in documents unless that has also changed. So let's go into a, a, a document here of any sort. And no, we don't have text options here. So yeah, unfortunately, that's not something that you can use in um, in documents, only in notebooks. The other new functionality of the update 3.8 is that you can now finally draw straight lines without the use of a ruler or anything like that on Remarkable. The way it works is that once you're done with drawing a line, you just hold on for a little bit more at the end of your line, it will transform into a straight line. And then you can adjust the angle at which it, you want it to be. And it will have a slight snap at 90 degrees. So the way it works is, for example, I'm in a fine liner, and I'm gonna draw a straight a line like this. And it turns into a straight line. And now I can rotate around and you can see if I hit 90 degrees, it is, it's very sensitive, but slight movement won't change it. I guess an offset after a couple of degrees will uh, unsnap it, but it does snap at 90 degree angles. So it's actually quite easy to do, uh, yeah, 90 degree angles. What's not so easy is to actually match the lines here. So some kind of snapping would have been a nice thing, but you can always, you know, just select the uh, line here, and then maybe manually uh, adjust it so that it fits where you want it to be. And then I go here, and then maybe I can add another line here, adjust the angle, 
and another line here to connect. Wait for it and there we go. And then you have the option to create geometric shapes. Now there's no option to fill or anything like that. So you still would need to use manual uh, way of brushing here and things like that. So it is opening door to some new added functionalities. But uh, yeah, that, that is literally the only new thing that you get as a new functionality. So you don't get anything else, just the straight lines, which I guess is fine. Now, the second thing that is um, uh, or, or the third improvement of the update 3.8 currently is the state of the eraser. And they in they say that they have improved the eraser functionality. For that, I'm going to zoom in. All right, here we are super zoomed in. So I'm going to select my eraser, and I'm going to put it to the thinnest. And the way it works now is like this. So it looks like it's taking away strokes around the area where you actually use the eraser. As an effect and as a tool, this is creative and kind of nice, especially when you combine it with, for example, the brush that you're erasing. But I cannot characterize this as an improvement simply because let's focus on this one here. And let's say that I just want to shave off a tiny bit here. It's not precise. It took away more than I wanted. Let's say that I want just this section here. There it worked. Here it worked not precise. There it worked precise. Now it took away more. Now it took away a little bit more. Let's say that I want to just erase here. It leaves things. So you can see that I'm trying to create a straight line here and it leaves all of these things. So for an improvement that it's improved, that the precision has been improved. I don't know what was it like, the precision of it uh, before, but it certainly isn't something that I would characterize as precise. So, yeah, we can do straight lines now on the Remarkable 2. whoop de doo And it works actually kind of cool. Of course, it would be nice to be able to connect the lines and create shapes and things like that, but at least there's that now on the Remarkable platform. I personally like the checkboxes more. I think they're uh, quite a lot more of a usable thing, but overall, I think that both new features are fairly usable and they're okay implemented, okay enough that they can be called complete. So update 3.8 is a meaningful update as far as I'm concerned for the Remarkable platform. Uh, do let me know in the description down below, what do you think? And also, if you like the video, if you found it useful or informative, do like and subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out on My Deep Guide. Also, do check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop where you can find MDO and MMP. Those are hyperlinked PDF files. MDO helps you organize your yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, uh, private or business needs. And MMP is My Deep Guide Meeting Planner, which helps you centralize, organize and simplify your meeting planning needs. If you are interested in learning more about these products, do check out the playlist links in the description below to learn more about the products and see if they are for you or not. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.